Alright guys, bit of a different one. Because it's mildly entertaining, I thought I'd share it with you. Um, two friction folder blades um, that have been nothing but a pain in the arse and taken me the best part of a week of messing around and expensive mistakes using carbon fibre, um, cheap drill bits etc. Well, finally going to heat treat them and they are 52100 bearing steel um, which was from Gavco and yeah so now I've done a bit of research and Tim over at Sugar Creek Forge has once again built me out with some good advice and um, yeah Let's see if we can't heat treat them I still need to block up the other end of the forge. Could probably do with a bit more gas. I'm still learning how to use this. quench them. Oh, it's heating up nice and quick now. I'll tell you what, 52100, it's an interesting skill to work. Very interesting. I've joined the two together so I can keep them both even, save gas. and information that I've found says that I need to uh, heat treat them or quench them three times. Um, Tim has obviously he's told me his way of doing it and I've got one of his knives with a 52-100 blade and there ain't nothing wrong with that. So. However it does say to soak them for a while so never actually checked whether it was even magnetic to start with. It's curious now. Well, the answer is yes, it's magnetic. See if it's now non-magnetic, which it is. There's a lot of people that will frown on this and they'll say, well, it's got to be heated to 4,706.53277.4.9 of the decimal 3 uh, degrees for exactly 416.7 minutes and 42 of the decimal of that as well. Um, then quenched in 
oil that's 67.9 degrees and then put in the freezer for 7 hours and 43 minutes, 0.5 fuck it, get it hot, stick it in the oil, do that a couple of times, stick it in the oven, see what happens. If a file won't grind metal off, it'll hold an edge. <laughs> um, now what I didn't think about, Sticking a lot of oil in my forge, so it smells like barbecue. <sighs> waiting for one of the cats to come and knock this container off. What are pretty colours at least anyway? Well, I'm not going to go too mad, I suppose. All we're going to do is burn the oil back off, so I'll just chuck it back in. Yep. Bit of flameage, never hurt anybody. Can't beat a bit of flameage. As long as it doesn't explode and blow me up, I don't really give a shit. It's 52-100, quench number one. the oxygen a little bit. I'm gonna go put some um, some safety glasses on actually because that's going around. It's good fun this knife making. You can't beat a hobby that allows you so much trial and error. And also at the same time, not only does it allow you the trial and error, Also gives you really good results when you get it right. Well, that's a critical. Just put it back in, get it back up to the same. Most of the time now, I don't really check with a magnet, but with it being a foreign steel, it's not going to do me any harm to be extra cautious. Once again, edge quench. Why am I edge quenching it? Because I can. <laughs> and the oil's now heating up, so when we do this for the third time, the oil should be closer to the target temperature, which I'm supposed to be aiming for. Am I having fun anyway? I don't need to answer that, do I? 
need some new gloves now. stick a mind in the way, I don't think I am, am I? Burnt my thumb again though. You'd think I'd learn to not do that. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, coming back up to critical. Soaked for long enough. I'm bored, so it has to have. Once again, edge quench. And in. There you go, guys. Will it work? We shall see. 